Hey, what's up, people? Uh, this is Alex Campbell, Master Barber out of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, just want to let you guys know that I'm going to start doing blogs, if I can, on a weekly basis, video blogs that have uh, uh, a lot of things to do with a lot of the topics that I get as far as email. Um, the one topic that I'm going to talk about today is the lack of quality in the raise uh the the blades that you get for your trimmers a lot of people they say well you know i get these brand new blades and they're not cutting right you know what do i do well i go through the same thing at least i used to go through the same thing a lot of people think that the key is to buy these new blades that are coming out and not you know the bottom line is how the blades are sharpened okay Something that you all may not know, may or may not know, I'm not sure, is uh, whenever you get a, a brand new blade, okay, the thickness of this blade is very key, okay, when you turn the blade to the side, you can look at the blade, and you can see the thickness of the blade, now, the thickness or the thinness of the blade dictates how sharp and crisp your lineups can be. A perfect example is uh, the Andis Improved Masters versus the Andis Fade Masters. Well, the difference is it's how the blade is shaped. On a pair of Andis Fade Masters, the blade is very thin and it comes to a point. It's a very precise blade. And on the Andis Improved Masters, the blade has a, a little dip it comes out and has a dip. Well, the Andis Fade Master Blades is straight. It's straight, just like this. And the Andis Improved Masters has a dip on the tip of it. Okay, that straightness causes the blade to cut more precise. Okay, now the same thing goes for your trimmer. Okay, these are my trimmers right here. Um... If I could get a close-up good enough, I could show you, but if you compare my blades to this blade, this is a brand new blade, and these are my blades. These blades are very, very thin. These are super thin, okay? That's what gives me that razor line shape up, okay? Now, you don't have to go out and buy brand new blades all the time trying to achieve a sharp, sharp lineup. What you need to do is to go and find the oldest blades that you have. Okay? The oldest guide blade. Okay? And the oldest moving blade. Okay? The, the guide blade is this top blade. And this is the moving blade. You need to find the two oldest. You need to find the oldest guide blade and the oldest moving blade. You put those blades together. Okay? Now... If you look at them, more than likely, you'll be able to see the difference. If you buy a brand new blade, and you get your older blades, and you put them side by side, just like this, you'll be able to see the difference in what I'm talking about. One of them will be thicker than the other, and the one that's the thickest will more than likely be the one that doesn't cut that great. So, to answer everybody's question, why... Is that the case? Well, more than likely, in my opinion, uh, with the uh, new trend of all these beauty supply stores coming about very fast, I think it's causing the manufacturers to produce all of these blades. and They're doing it so fast because of supply and demand that they're not really sharpening them as well as they used to sharpen them. Now, the better you sharpen the blades, the thinner that they are. Now, you notice a lot of barbers, they, uh, they have, you know, their liners are tight. More than likely, those liners are older liners, older blades. See, the newer blades are crap. I'm just telling you now. The people who are manufacturing these new blades now, man, they are crap. All they have to do is sharpen the blades a little bit longer. So... Okay, now, does that help you? No. So what you need to do 
is if you have a local guy who sharpens your blades. I go through this in Atlanta. I asked a guy here in Atlanta, could you sharpen the blades and make them thinner? Well, he looked at me like I was crazy, which caused me to start searching around so that I could help barbers sharpen their own blades. Now, it may take some time. The only way that you can sharpen your blades and make them as thin as mine is either one time of sharpening them over and over and over again, or two, you have to have a sharpener that has diamond bits in that sharpener. Okay? It has to have diamond. Diamonds cut metal. Okay? Now, I'm researching right now to try to find something for everybody to use that has diamonds in it so that you can have your blade sharpened on your own and make them thin. So, like I say, what you want to do is look at your blades, okay? These are the two trimmers that I use right here, all right? And it's outliners, okay? Now, I probably won't be able to get a good view, but if you could see, you probably really can't see, but the bottom line is my blades are super thin, like the tip of a needle. That's how I want my blades, super thin like the tip of a needle. These right here, these brand new blades, they are crap, okay? So what you need to do is find a sharpening service that will grind your blades down thin on the tips like a needle, okay? If you ever had a tattoo, I have a tattoo right here, and it feels just like how the needle feels when you get a tattoo. You want the tips of your blades to be sharp, okay? And you want your moving blade to be sharp. Now, you don't want them to be so thin that they become brittle, but you do want them thinner than how they are whenever you initially buy them out of the pack because everybody knows when you buy these blades, they suck. Okay, it ain't worth a damn. And, you know, I, so I get all these emails, man, I just bought these brand new blades, I need to get them sharp, and blah, 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 it goes on and on and on and on and on, and I truly understand. So what I'm telling you is, is whenever you get your blades sharpened, get them sharp and thin, but so that you understand where I'm coming from, buy a brand new pair, turn it to the side, and look at it, okay, then, Go and find some old blades that you think that used to cut pretty good. Turn them to the side. Compare it with the new blade. And I almost guarantee you, the old blade is thinner than the new blade. I will almost guarantee you that's the case. So either get the new blades sharpened and make them thinner, or find all your old blades that are thin and get them sharpened. And I would almost be willing to guarantee you, you will see a huge, huge, huge difference in how your trimmers cut. Because like I said, the bot, at the end of the day, the thinness, you know, just like when I did the comparison of the Andis Masters, the Fade Master Blade, and the Approved Master. The only difference is one is more precise because it's thinner. The same thing applies to your trimmer blades. The thinner your trimmer blades, the better the sharper they will cut okay so this is Alex Campbell Atlanta Barber this is blog number one hey man I hope you guys uh, understood where I was coming from uh, if you would subscribe to my videos right up here in the corner and right down here give me a five star rating man so that way I can keep bringing you these videos a lot of more informational videos. Uh, you guys seen my work. You know I can cut hair. But see, now it's time for me to start giving you guys an understanding. It's time for me to start uh, reaching out to you and uh, responding to all the emails. Because a lot of people are asking the same questions. So if you have any questions, leave it in the comment or uh, click my link. Over here, I have a link over here to, the, uh, to your right. And also subscribe to my videos, man. I'm going to try to uh, start posting these videos at least monthly, 
if not weekly. My goal is weekly, but definitely once a month, man. All right, check me out, www.alexccampbell.com. Once again, www.alexccampbell.com. Subscribe to my videos. Give me a five-star rating. Peace.